Let's go to basketball. The regional semifinals, including a great game up in Region 6. Glenburn just two wins away from making the state tournament for the first time ever. They face a tough team in the Belva Aggies, surviving a tough game against our Redeemers last night. Panthers getting it to McKenna Rowland. She collects, passes to Brooklyn Henley in the corner. The three up and good. Aggies now with it. They swing the ball around to find Riley Franson down low. She turns, hits the pull-up jumper, but Glenburn is just too good tonight. They go to their girl, Nadia Post. She drives, stops, pulls up, and buries the jumper. Panthers make it to their first ever region championship game. But who will they face? Rugby and MLS battling to find out the answer. Second quarter, MLS swings the ball to Allison Unland. She pulls the three ball, and it's good. Panthers now. Sarah Blessum, one of the top players for them, setting up the offense. She finds Kendall Hager. Pump fake, steps to the side, drains the three. Rugby wins a nail biter by three. The Region 5 semifinals, Wilton Wing and Garrison. A three point lead for the Miners to start but in the fourth quarter, but the Troopers cutting it down to just one when Carly Klein down low. 31 30 at that point, but a key 8 0 run to follow for Wilton Wing puts this game out of reach, including Haley Quam getting this tough land and one. Wilton Wing onto the championship Thursday night. Shiloh Christian, the only District 9 team left, facing center Stanton. Skyhawks starting off well, pushing the pace. Hannah Weston from three-point range, first points of the game, but it would be all Wildcats from here. How about a 15-3 run to end the quarter? Hannah Hoffman from three, center Stanton, the upset by 10. They face Wilton on Thursday. Over to Region 7 at Dickinson Trinity, Henner Hedinger Scranton, the one seed, taking on Bowman County Bulldogs, making noise early. J.C. Fisher with the corner jumper. Gets the friendly bounce to make it fall for two. But the story of the night, Samantha O's drops this one in from the free throw line on the drive jumper here for two of her 30 points as the Nighthawks get an 18 point win. To the late game, Dickinson Trinity, the home team, the three seed, Hart River, the seven seed with an upset on their minds. First quarter, Titans come out hot. Abby Cubis with a move in the paint and one as the Titans fired up. But the Cougars come roaring back. Kaylee Wilkie, the jumper over two defenders and off the bank. Hart River's Cinderella run continues with another upset. They'll face Hedinger Scranton. In Region 3, it'll be Linton h &B taking on Carrington in the championship. And in Region 8, Kenmare wins big. They'll take on Trenton in the region championship.